Hello fellow tech geeks, I'm Young John, and today on First Look, we'll be checking out the MSI laptop, the GL62VR. So hidden inside this brown box is the proper box with the gaming dragon of MSI hidden inside. VR ready GeForce GTX. It's got a PCIe Gen 3 SSD in there. It's NVMe technology, by the way, which is the really quick chip M.2. Matrix display, you can do multi displays. Mini display port 1.2 supports 4K display at 60 Hertz refresh. XSplit game caster. It's a free premium license for one year. Uh, live streaming and high quality, easy streaming, easy background removal. Cooler Boost 4 exclusive cooling technology, dual thermal solution, dedicated heat pipes for CPU slash GPU. Gaming keyboard by SteelSeries RGB, very nice. Optimized for tactile feedback and anti-ghosting keys. Although we're not quite sure if this is mechanical, doubtful, but it is made by Steel Series, so fingers are crossed. Something shift, dynamic temperature performance balancing, five modes. So I guess it's a kind of thermometer and software. Dragon Center, tickful control exclusive on MSI notebooks. It's an app that controls everything that has to do with temperature and gaming. Nahimic 2 Plus, enjoy VR games with lifelike 7.1 audio surround sound. Awesome, it's gonna sound great. Killer Ethernet, Killer Shield, optimized gaming connection, lower ping time for smoother gameplay. So I guess this is network optimization software for less lag time when you're gaming. Got an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 at six gigabytes. Oh yeah, that's what we paid the money for in this machine here. The GTX 1060, six gigs. Wireless LAN and Bluetooth combo module. And a battery that's 10.8 volts, 41.4 watt hours, six cells. And right on the bottom, they have all of these nice logos that say you can recycle, 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 and recycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight logos to tell you that you can recycle. We'll need our cutting tool again. We are greeted with a thing in Spanish. <laughs> on the other side, I'm guessing it's English. Yes, contact information. Laptop is right on top, protected by layers of plastic. The screen is protected by this nice piece of foam. I'm going to tilt this up so you can see. On the one side, we have cord. On the other side, we have the power brick. This is really big. Compare this to the size of the laptop. Do you see this? Oh my God. This is the biggest brick I've ever seen for any laptop. In the middle, sack of instructions. And that's all we got. I want to open this up and show you what's inside. We have the F3 hotkey recovery function notebook, the notebook quick start. And this looks like a little tool. I don't know what this is. It might be for some bay ports or opening up something. It has some screws, so you might want to hold on to this too. So we're going to look around the laptop. This is 15.6 inches. It's a little bit wider than uh, the laptops I've worked with. It's sort of plasticky and feels like plastic, but you can tell it's a gaming laptop just by seeing this dragon logo right on top. On the front, it looks like speakers here. It looks like there are three lighting indicators. On the right side, we have the a DVD player, USB 2 port because it's not blue. There's an SD card reader and this is the power port. Looking at the left side, there's a Kensington lock RJ45 uh, Ethernet port. USB 3 ports, there looks to be two of them in blue color. We have the HDMI out. It looks like a display port out for another screen. A USB-C port, 3.1. And we have microphone in and the headphone in. On the back, we see two grills, one on the left and one on the right, probably for the air intake or the outflow. The bottom is full of grills. If you look very closely, you can see the heat pipes. To keep performance up high, you need to pull the heat away from the CPU and the GPU, and that's exactly what the heat pipes are doing. Let's open up the screen. It is a thing of beauty. Up here, you have the webcam. You have your full HD screen. You have the power button here on top. You have a fan button and a G button. I think that's for game. The keys themselves are not mechanical, I don't think, because I feel the squishiness of uh, membrane keys, but it is built by SteelSeries, so I guess I should be thankful for that. You have an extremely big touchpad. It's the size of my palm, the whole palm. It's re that's really big. I've never had a touchpad that big before. It's got clickety keys. And according to the sticker here, it is PCMag.com's reader's choice. I'm glad I chose this laptop, but we'll only know how good it is once we turn it on. 
Now, this laptop is one of the best bang for the bucks you can get on the market right now. It costs $1,100. You get an Intel chip, top of the line stock, uh, 7700 KB Lake, a GeForce 1060 uh, with almost double the CUDA cores of the 1050, and it has six gigabytes of uh, VRAM. You probably won't be needing the NVIDIA card when you're doing simple things like you know, word processing or browsing the web. You can save on power and reduce the amount of heat by using the built-in video card when you're not doing graphics intensive work. Now, this comes with 16 megs of RAM. It comes with an SSD storage of 512 gigabytes. SSD storage is really, really expensive. The prices have gone upwards in the past two years. Now, I've seen a terabyte SSD go for $200 two years ago. That same terabyte SSD is now going for $240 and higher. It, the price has gone up, not down. So if you take that into account, the price is really, really great for what you're getting. You can get something very similar. For example, if you get a GeForce 1050 with three gigs or two gigs, the price can be knocked down to 700 and change, $800. You're paying actually for the SSD and for the 1060 card. 1060 is what you need to do VR, a virtual reality. If you're gonna use Oculus or the HTC V, Vive, whatever you call it, that's what you're gonna need. They also have the 1070 and the 1080 cards, which are actually meant for desktops. It's much harder to cool them. They will draw a lot more energy. Uh, it'll be a lot hotter. The fans will be whirring like mad. Uh, and they cost a hell of a lot more money. So best bang for the buck, if you want to do VR, the 1060 cards are the way to go, at least for now. Now at that price, they've had to make some compromises. It comes in a plastic housing and it looks kind of cheap. It, feels kind of cheap to be honest, just feels like really cheap plastic. And this is a type that is like a fingerprint magnet. It absorbs all of the oil. So if you touch your face or anything and then you touch the laptop, it'll absorb all the oils from your face on the laptop. So if you ever get tired from gaming and you wanna fall asleep, don't put your head on the laptop because all the oils from your forehead is gonna make a big splotch. Uh, I can already tell from the keys that it's gonna be oily, it's gonna attract a lot of the oils. So don't touch your face, don't fall asleep on it, and you'll be okay. Now, if you're a gamer, you will have a gaming headset. Now, these guys come with a TRRS plug, which is a four pole plug. And you'll notice inside the laptop, you have two separate plugs, one for a mic and one for an audio. So you can't just stick this in. You're going to need a splitter like this here uh, that accepts this four pole plug and splits the audio and the microphone. So you're gonna need one of these guys and hopefully they've provided you one with your gaming headset. And if not, you're gonna have to go buy one. So I've taken the liberty of starting up the computer and just initializing Windows. So you'll get a real sense of how quickly this computer will boot up. So here we go. Ah. MSI. And that's it. <laughs> I'm amazed, that was so quick. I have never had a computer boot this quickly when it had a spinning drive in it. But this is working off an SSD, so. But one of the most important things is to see uh, how much bloatware they have installed. So a lot of companies like to put in, you know, their version of this and this program that. We don't want that. Killer networking, that's part of the gaming thing. So leave that alone. There's a mixed reality portal in here. Now he 2 is an audio driver. That's audio enhancement. That's a nice bit. Nvidia also has installed an app GeForce Experience. This is some of the stuff that MSI has installed. There's Power Director 14 for MSI, Photo Director 8 for MSI, Power DVD 14 for MSI, but not a lot else. It seems to be quite bloatware free. There's not too much in there. I see something called TriDef VR Games. It's probably a try before you buy piece of software. This is the Dragon Control Center. What I'm doing is moving my mouse around. So whenever it's using the CPU, it'll show you a percentage of the usage. It shows you the percentage of memory here, GPU percentage, the disk percentage usage, your ethernet and Wi-Fi. This is great. This is a control center that actually looks useful. The portal, system tuner, you can turn 
uh, the VR on or off. You can turn the Nahimic VR on or off. Storage boost, USB boost, fan speed, Nahimic controller from movie audio to shooter audio, strategy audio, role playing audio enhancements. Mobile center. It looks like you can connect your computer to a mobile phone, which is pretty awesome. So this Dragon Center app looks to be extremely useful. I'm glad that this is on here. And they don't have too much bloatware, which is a relief. For a computer with so many function keys, the only thing I see lacking is a differentiator. The whole keyboard is red. It's lit red. It would have been nice if the function keys were a different color or highlighted in some way. Maybe if I press the function, the light will change color. Fingers crossed, let's try this. And it doesn't, it's all still red. Looking at this keyboard, we have function, screen, whatever. There's a function key with a gear on it. And what that's doing is cycling through different power options from turbo to sport to comfort to eco. Uh, I'm still hunting around, where is it? It's minus and plus. Okay, so, oh, that's the brightness of the keypad. I was looking for the brightness of the screen and I haven't found that yet. Here it is. Okay, yes. Function up and down will bring the brightness of the screen up and down. Very good. And I'm sure there's other things, but the point of it is that you're gonna be hunting around for the function keys because it's just spread out everywhere. So MSI, for the next time, please differentiate, say, the color or the texture or something. Maybe we should just blame SteelSeries because it says keyboard by SteelSeries. SteelSeries, are you hearing us? Where this laptop really shines is if you are a VR gamer, if you are a video editor or a photo editor, you're going to need those resources to crunch numbers because a lot of that is crunching numbers. Now the screen isn't the best one, it isn't an IPS screen, but mostly if you're gaming, you're gonna want a very fast external uh, monitor anyway. Same goes for a video editor or photo editor, you want more accurate colors, so this is not gonna do it, you're gonna have an external screen. The laptop itself isn't too heavy, but the combination of the laptop and the power brick is. It won't be something that you wanna carry around everywhere with you. It is one of the best values for money. You're gonna get great performance for most of what you throw at it, except for heavy duty VR 3D modeling for which you will need to spend a hell of a lot more money for. But for $1,100, I'll take this one any day. Thank you very much for watching this video of the MSI GL62VR. I think that's right. If you liked the video, please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to First Look. We'll see you all again next time. It has, am I covering the mic? I am, Okay, let me try that again. You know, my print is actually on there and I can't seem to rub it off. MSI GL62VR, numbers.